Calvin Klein, a tailor turned fashion designer. Calvin Richard Klein was born on November 19, 1942, in Bronx, New York, to a Jewish family. His mother, Flory, was a homemaker, while his father, Leo Stern, was an immigrant from Hungary to New York, who owned a family grocery store. Calvin was the second of three children. His siblings were Alexis and Barry Klein. Calvin attended Isabel Roney Middle School for his elementary education. During his childhood, he would rather stay alone than mingle with the other children. But that was not all young Calvin had going for him. He became inspired by his maternal grandmother, who was a seamstress. He soon developed a passion for sewing and began to work on fashion sketches. While his mates played sports and participated in school club activities, Calvin spent his time sketching designs and sewing fashionable outfits. His mother also encouraged him to love art and fashion. After his elementary school, Calvin went to the High School of Industrial Arts and the Art Students League. Though he matriculated at the high school, he did not graduate from school. This was because he quit from the school to enroll at the New York's Fashion Institute of Technology in New York, from where he graduated in 1962. After graduation, Calvin began his apprenticeship with Dan Milstein at an old line cloak and suit manufacturer. He also spent five years working in various designing industries in New York City shops. In 1968, Calvin launched his first clothing company, Calvin Klein Incorporated. In collaboration with Barry Schwartz, his childhood friend, both of them became business partners when Barry gave Calvin a sum of $10,000 to start the clothing label. Calvin went ahead to rent a small showroom where he showcased his products. He initially majored on women's coats and coordinates. He was able to secure a deal with a large New York City clothing store, Bonwith Teller, and Calvin made a huge hit. His first order came by accident when a customer intending to buy a coat from Bonwith Teller mistakenly got off the elevator on the wrong floor in the hotel and wandered into Calvin's showroom. There she placed a coat order worth a whooping $50,000, and that was where it all began. It wasn't long before Calvin was able to earn millions in sales from his deal with Bonwit Teller and high consumer demand. Calvin earned excellent reviews from both the public and the fashion press. This encouraged him to extend his clothing line to additional ladies' sportswear and apparel that could be matched and mixed. His design philosophy was rooted in extreme simplicity. He used earth tones or neutral colors for his clothing line and designed separate articles of clothing that worked in many different ensembles from season to season and day to night. By 1971, Calvin's clothing company had grown intensely and included coats, sportswear, classic blazers and lingerie in its women's collection. Within a short time, Calvin Klein Incorporated did not only become huge and highly successful, the clothing line also included couture lineups that offered ladies with highly fashionable custom-made attires. After a few years, Calvin added menswear and jeans. He eventually became a major player in the denim market. He also employed fashion celebrities to help shape his vision. In 1977, the company that had begun with $10,000 years back was earning revenue of about $30 million. Calvin's dedication, hard work, and commitment also earned him huge financial dividends. At that time, Calvin added scarves, shoes, belts, furs, sunglasses, and sheets. During the early 1980s, Calvin added underwear, boxer shorts, and luxurious colognes and perfumes. He also added corresponding ad campaigns. A few years later, he branched out further into home apparels. His once humble fashion store had transformed into a huge empire, with several fashion stores across six countries, the UK, Canada, New Zealand, Ireland, Japan, and Australia. In 1983, Calvin was enlisted on the international best dress list. Calvin was also a former keen nightlifer and denizen of the famed Studio 54. He struggled with alcohol and drug abuse and had to check himself into a rehab center in Minnesota in 1988. While his clothing business thrived, he also struggled with substance abuse, but was able to complete rehab in Arizona. 
The early 1990s witnessed highly popular perfume lines from Calvin Klein Incorporated. His three major fragrances, Escape, Eternity and Obsession, were huge successes. During running his business, Calvin was involved in a series of provocative and controversial ads. Most of the sales and publicity he generated from his several ad campaigns were as a result of the sexually provocative nature of the ads, especially those ad campaigns targeted towards young people. One of such provocative ads and the most talked was his commercial featuring a teenage Brooks Shields saying, Do you know what comes between me and my carvings? Nothing. That commercial clip together with another ad was eventually banned by television stations. In 1995, the company faced more outcries when it produced fashion images that featured young models which most people considered as amateur pornography. Though the images were withdrawn from the public, the then US President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Clinton spoke out against the images. Even the US Justice Department launched an investigation to determine the age of the models. Calvin stated later in 2013 that he probably went too far with the campaign. In 1996, Calvin was enlisted as one of the 25 most influential Americans published by Time magazine. His way of designing clean, uncomplicated sportswear earned him the nickname Calvin Clean. Calvin was faced with a serious financial difficulty in the late 1990s and it was looking like he might not be able to overcome it, but he was bailed out by his friend David Geffen. In 2000, the company led a suit against its licensed Warnaco Group for breaching contractual agreements and trademark laws. However, the case was settled out of court. Three years later, Calvin and Barry sold Calvin Klein Incorporated to Philip Van Usen Corporation for $430 million in stock and cash. Calvin had always been very open about his intimate relationships with both men and women, though he usually declined to assign any specific label to his sexual identities in interview. He claimed that inspiration for most of his commercial ads came from the things he experienced in his personal life. Calvin got married to a textile designer, Jane Center, in 1964. The couple had a daughter, Marcy, who is currently the talent producer for NBC's Saturday Night Live. The couple got divorced 10 years later in 1974. Calvin later married his assistant, Kelly Rector, in 1986 in Rome while they were on a buying trip in Italy. Kelly soon became a famous socialite photographer. However, his marriage with Kelly didn't also last for long. The couple separated 10 years later in 1996 and legally divorced another 10 years later in 2006 on amicable terms. Calvin reportedly dated Nicholas Gruber, a former pornography star, before they got separated in 2012. Calvin is an avid supporter of the U.S. Democratic Party and had given more than $250,000 to both PACs and candidates since 1980. Calvin is well known for his stylish but casual clothing designs created for active women. He is indisputably one of the most successful American clothing designers today. Calvin's story isn't an inspiration simply because he created a well-known clothing brand in the world of fashion, but because he was an individual who dreamt big and never gave up on his dream. He used everything he could think of to make his brand what people would love to wear. Everyone also has a dream, an inspiration like Calvin. With determination and the right guidance, you can become successful just like him. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other interesting videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.